I always wanted to be a biologist, so I did my BSc, Master, PhD in biology. And uh, when I get to my postdoc, this is where I started to uh, have a taste of climate change for my research, uh, and then became involved uh, as a research associate under the Eco Research Projects of Canada in the 1990s. And this is how really I started to develop this interdisciplinary approach and interest to uh, environment. I was at Laurentian University before coming here at Brock University, and uh, we had the uh, project from uh, Natural Resource Canada, uh, which, uh, as I said, was a collaborative work uh, that went on from 2005 to 2007. And this was really the launch of what became the Greater Sudbury uh, Climate Change Consortium. As a scientist, I think that it's very important that I can transfer this knowledge to the community and that they can work with it and they can do something with it. It's a little bit disappointing to see that uh, a lot of people still try to deny uh, and a lot of people still uh, are not completely understanding the impact that it has. And I've been working uh, across the world uh, and I know that uh, some countries are already suffering from climate change. I have been also involved in climate change uh, adaptation uh, in other communities. Uh, currently I'm working with uh, another large group uh, for coastal communities. So we're working in 12 different communities in the Maritimes, Quebec, New Brunswick and PEI, as well as I started to help a little bit on the Niagara one. Climate change issue is not going to disappear. And uh, our generation, we're still doing quite well. Uh, I'm really concerned about the future of the, our, like my daughter, for example, will have to deal with more the consequences of climate change. And the same with her own children, gradually, if she has some, they will have to deal with a lot more uh, limitation, I would say, in the environment.